There it is. No video. Oh, Jesus. No sound. There we go. There it is. Sorry, just uh, one more final touch. How are you? Good. How are you? Fantastic. Do you want to do what do you think? You want to practice tonight or you want to just uh, do we, it? We could do it. Hold, hold on one second. Let me. Um... <sighs> there he is. Yeah, I'm, I'm vain, so I, so I need to make make That's the box okay. yeah, bigger to show myself. Nah, uh, just my himbo butt on the screen there that. didn't mean to do it. He didn't know what to do with it. Yeah. Also, I've I've uh, you know, it might have been good to read what you sent me over again. Uh, <laughs> I didn't get there yet either. That's uh, yeah. Okay. Gonna... <laughs> uh, well, well, yeah, we could uh, I don't know, go over an outline before actually starting for recording. Yeah, that's cool. You're all set up over there. Yeah, I wish I had. Uh, I wish I didn't have to wear my uh, headset, but no, nah, just... I, I don't have a headset yet, so I'm only oh, well, jealous of you... your headset. So generally, if you're doing a podcast, <laughs> a podcast, what you would be doing is um, getting a blue yeti would probably be okay. a good thing to start uh, for, like. Uh, it's just the best, cheapest sort of option to speak into. Um, mm. But you have and a, a micro- microphone. You have a microphone. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's I'm more just... so if you wanted to get set up at a desk. But I don't know if you want to get set up at a desk. Or I feel like for a podcast, you with a mic in your hand makes more sense for the comedy thing because when you're doing comedy, you have a mic in your hand, so I right, feel like it's it all fits kind the of vibe practice. better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, for me, I probably took it from. Uh, Matt and Shane Secret Podcast, you know, Shane Gillis, Matt McCusker. I don't know if you know those guys. They started out just sitting on their couches and a bunch of mics hooked up to a mixer and doing a podcast. And now he's he's had that like number w- number one, you know, stand up special on Netflix for a while. And so it can work, you know? Yeah. I don't know. It might have been. Oh, uh, I was tugging on my little. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. Well, uh, yeah, we're practicing, I guess, but uh, intro, I didn't get to really write it out, but intro to Griffin. This guy is, uh, he's, he's awesome. I mean, welcome to the, the sit and easy pod show. Uh, Griffin has got great listening skills. He's, he's super funny and you wouldn't, I don't, it's weird. I don't want to like misstep or misspeak, but you see, you walk up on stage, you almost have uh, expectations when you see you, and then you start to speak, and you're like, "Holy shit, he's so it's, much more relatable than I thought he would be." It's like it's you're so relatable. It's it's the uh, it's, it's, it's it's yeah. It's a deliberate attempt. It's awesome. to, to seem relatable. It's all the it's all the masking. Really? Or uh, yeah, no, no. I mean, I, no. I feel like I'm <laughs> I mean, fairly relatable. So. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, but yeah, it's yeah, like it's awesome. the. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, up on stage, you're playing a character, but a lot of the stuff that I write is about my experiences, um, not just like it's it's hard to make just jokes out of out of nothing. Like I feel like there's some uh, comedians that can do that, like uh, like Gilbert Godfrey doing the bit about a napkin for like twenty thirty minutes. Okay. For me, it's I, I I can't I can't do something like that. I don't feel like I'm that like creative sure. on a dime so i, I, like it's I almost talk a from good my experience yeah no i like that too yeah oh no yeah, it would be a great exercise i i mean i would i would aspire to be something like uh as good as he was but um i just Joe feel like that's God not my for, style he, he passed recently didn't he yeah he did uh that sucks god bless him or, or rest in peace or all that yeah. stuff yeah. Where's your microphone at? I'm sorry, changing. Subject. Microphone's right oh, here. Oh, there it is. Okay, I it's a little you. little bar. It's a, is it like a gaming headset? Yeah, it's a gaming head. It's a it's a Sennheiser. Oh, yeah. So it's a Sennheiser. It's an okay, one. is that German? 
Yeah, I think it's German. It's like some Nazi lingo. What'd you say? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, it's uh <laughs> Yeah, it's no, it's it... it was Eigen's yeah. microphone is. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Say the uh, say the name one more time. Uh, Sennheiser. Sennheiser. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, it's like uh, Godwin's Law. Uh, the longer you're on the internet, uh, the closer you are to mentioning Nazis. Oh, that's okay. Well, yeah. just a part of another statistic, jumping, ju I guess. <laughs> jumping right into it. Uh, I don't know if we were practicing or if we were actually starting it. I was confused. I'm recording no matter what. So no, matter okay, that's me. fair enough. <laughs> Clip it together or whatever you want to do. Yeah, the Zoom, it, it, it automatically edits kind of. Uh, so I guess who's ever talking gets the screen time as far as whatever I get to record. No, okay, fair enough. So I don't get to really control that aspect, but beyond that with the sound effects and you know trying to trim it up and all that, I can do that. <clears throat> yeah. And give some more visual effect and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, oh God, it's so awkward actually starting to and like doing something. It's like, I love it, dude. I get yeah. more comfortable as we sink in. Like I got more questions lined up in my head now. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, safe word feels, feels very much like, <laughs> yeah, a, uh, <laughs> this doesn't feel like a podcast. It. it feels more like the start of a fucking kink session. That's not, uh, <laughs> that's, that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Safe word. Uh, we gotta we gotta give a vibe because like see, how else are we gonna attract yeah. people to watch or listen to this shit if you don't give a very unique vibe yeah so that's kind of where my mind's at with all this i'm just like fly by the seat of my pants just fucking what do we got here we've got a very unique dude a very interesting cat let's fucking extrapolate on that and just go yeah. you know yeah, I, I i like it but on uh on that uh, note, on safe the, word. Yeah, what's your safe word? See on the see the thing is that <laughs> I've never actually had a safe word because Me neither. <laughs> that's right. Because <laughs> not that I haven't engaged in behavior I where I would need that's... a safe word. Yeah, yeah. But but because in the BDSM community there's a thing uh, where it's it's called a stoplight system. And that's it's like, you know, green, yellow, red. So I've never actually had a safe word. Okay. But um, green, yellow, red. Uh, you can uh, you can elaborate on that if you want. I'll oh, I mean, it's just extra studio uh, lights I mean, on, and we're gonna go from there. I mean, well, that's just sort of like I'm not using it with this because that would be that would be too <laughs> that would be too familiar. <laughs> no, that would, I actually I feel like crossing I a... paths more than I necessarily no. want. Well, uh, I do, like uh, that though because I the part of the part of this podcast I was trying to like find more similarities and our and despite our differences, I guess I mm. could say. So if there's some part of your language and your world and your culture that I wouldn't necessarily be privy to, I'd like to understand it now. Ah. You know, like that's kind of well that's so if that's, there's something you, you got that's turning a comedy loaded, podcast but... into a basically a podcast about consent and kink. But um <laughs> which well, but how funny could consent and kink oh, be? That could be very funny. Right, but uh, so let's continue. You, you, uh, pineapple, <laughs> pineapple is a good safe word that a lot of yeah, people use. Yeah, okay, that's a famous. Which is one. funny because pineapple is the symbol for swingers. Swingers, okay. I thought, yeah, I, yeah, for yeah, some like, reason, like I heard swingers out, with an L. Yeah, no, swingers throwing rocks. With a w. Yeah, throwing rocks at people. <laughs> it's a big part of society right now. Yeah, whether yeah. metaphorical or not. Uh, all right, pineapple. Uh, something common with swingers. Yeah, yeah. So, so pineapples are like. A, I don't know why it's a sign of uh, swingers, but like, I think it was like you put a pineapple on your doorstep, and that's how like other couples could. I'm not. Whoa. I'm not. I'm glad part... we put our pineapple in the backyard, dude. We could have been <laughs> propositioned not... by some rando on the streets. Like, I don't really know that's that much a about this. So I feel like pineapple I'm... on your front porch. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking out of my ass. Yeah, I know. It's just some people will show up like, hey, we're the new neighbors. No, you're just like talking with, with some a cookies. pineapple in your ass. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, anything's a dildo if you're brave enough. But I think exactly. that's, uh, that's an old South Park Hitler with the devil type of 
reference, I think. Like the movie? Not well. I don't know. South Park. Uh, Hitler was the devil's. Yeah, bitch, I think that I was think, the movie. For a while. Was it? It could have been. No, My no, movie. it wasn't Hitler. I think it was Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein. Where did Hitler come into play? Whatever. Saddam Hussein. Oh. There was a pineapple anyway. involved. I think. Uh, anyway, so pineapples are safe word. Mine's gonna be jostle. Jostle. Yeah. I looked it up earlier. Um, it, it's not quite what I thought it meant. You know, it's actually you. a really good safe word is mm-hmm. uh, is Hong Kong. And the reason why is because you can say that without like moving your mouth. You can say that without like enunciating any syllables. So for certain activities, you know, you can be like Hong yes. Kong. <laughs> like you don't need to move anything. Or I'm trying to like go with a gag in your mouth. What could you say? You're like jostle, but you can't like jostle. Oh, oh that's yeah. Way too loud. That Sorry, be- I might have to edit that out. Ew. Didn't mean to hurt your eardrums. Um, Hong Kong. I think you can get it out though, gagged or not. That's what I was trying yeah. to figure out. Ugh. God, that. That that is a thing where uh, it, it feels like all of my comedy resolves like revolves around sex, uh, whether I yeah, like it or not. Yeah, it's hard not to. Right. It's it's hard not to because it's like some of it's lowbrow, some of it. I don't want to say highbrow. I would say medium brow. It's not. Um, I'm still learning about the brows. Yeah. Uh, it's um, I'm I'm not good with mine. I'm not, I'm not gay enough to actually pluck and maintain. I don't. <laughs> that's too much work i'm not I'm right not right that. no even the metaphorical speak or whatever highbrow lowbrow what, what yeah. i don't i don't okay, so look like, that up i really lowbrow don't know comedy means. would be like a poop joke and highbrow comedy would be like i don't know referencing okay. some that like historical event or niche sort of like i don't know like intellectual yeah, comedy okay but yeah sure i gotcha people make fun of lowbrow comedy but it's it's funny because it's funny. Like, right. That's the low what hanging counts. the low hanging fruit is funny. And if it's funny, pick the fucking low hanging fruit. Yeah, yeah. Uh bring it to a point. Um we tried to get a little technical on the last uh episode of Sit Ain't Easy with Seamus O'Dunn, mm-hmm. and he was like, Yeah, let's really try to pick apart comedy or I can't remember the word he used, but let's really try to get serious about comedy in a in a sarcastic way. It was like, Yeah, you can't yeah. You gotta just chill. Just whatever's funny is funny. You can't. Yeah, there's definitely you can't start like try to put up all these borders and guardrails and regulations. And I think I think that whatever is funny how is how can it evolve? Yeah. Well, the yeah yeah I, I heard him talking about like how it's sort of a new medium, and like uh, all of the people being like, well, these are the rules for this. You have to do this. You have to do that. And I think that. Comedy is about like communication and like a lot of it, like I don't want to say exposing hidden truths, but more so like uh, saying something relatable in a funny way that gets people thinking about something that they also sort of experience. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And I, so I, I like what you said about, I don't want to say exposing hidden, hidden truths, but. At the same time, that's kind of a part of it. Uh, well, yeah. Or at like, least truths that aren't spoken in the mainstream. Yeah, or like, I mean, obviously comedy about like, I don't know, wanting to be on an airplane and there's a screaming baby and wanting to throttle it. Like everybody's had that experience, so it's very relatable and you can make jokes about that. And um, There's a lot of in-group comedies. And so like, for example, there's a lot of queer in-group comedy where like people that aren't necessarily in the queer scene wouldn't get it. Or there's a lot of like, uh, you know, like like racial comedy, like uh, like the Boondocks was like written, like by black people about the black community, and it was like in group humor. And Dave Chappelle used to do a lot of like, by Fubu, like in group humor about it. So it was coming from like a place of intelligence and sort of like self critique, but it wasn't. It wasn't offensive. It wasn't coming from like a place of hate. So it was it was funny. It was like critique comedy, but it was funny. It wasn't. And that's why I like. The, I there, there's a lot crucial. of crucial. 
crucial yeah, to yeah. current comedy actually yeah i think that um you know like you can do that's the thing where i i feel like i'm more of a stickler than other people where it's like you can be offensive in your comedy and offensive comedy is funny but i feel like if you're if you're missing the point of something you're saying something that's sort of like not true or you're just sort of ignorant on something and you're making a joke about it it might be funny to the other people that are also ignorant about that thing but people that might know a bit more will be like well that's not funny because it's based on like a lie or a falsehood so like there's lots of like um i mean there's lots of trans comedians that are very funny that joke about the trans experience like there's uh and and Trans women are some of the funniest people on the internet, in my opinion, and in, in, in the, the yeah, no spaces kidding. that I'm in, um, or the, the, the queer spaces that I'm in, where it's like, uh, you know, making jokes about like, uh, you know, gender euphoria or gender dysphoria based on like, you know, suicide attempts. So you'll have like, uh, uh like trans femmes being like, oh, you know, mine was, you know, Oh, I, I tried with, you know, pills. It's like, you know, oh, that's gender euphoric. It's like, that's stupid, but okay. it's like. Uh, you're losing me a little bit. Oh, sorry, terminology. First, no, it's all right. Yep, this okay. is the first time I'm hearing so trans like, uh, euphoric. I've never heard trans euphoric. I've, I've heard. Trans uh, euphoric is like the opposite of dysphoric. So it's like. Uh, you're, you're like super excited. Like you're just totally accepting of your. It, it's not about accepting it's about way. like it's about like feeling good about your presentation okay. so like uh and like you know just you know your average like cis guy can feel you know gender euphoria too so for example like if a when they I take mean, ecstasy no. yeah 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 <laughs> that's definitely. one time i definitely know i was no but like cis no but euphoria. like you know if you're you know a dude that's like you know works out a lot looks at himself uh, in the mirror, you know, just views himself as, you know, big rippling muscles like, oh, I'm okay. I'm like the the peak of masculinity, like someone like that. Okay. Like that would be that would be gender euphoria. Ah. Because he's like, oh, I'm I'm super masculine. I'm super like I've I've big maxed right out. Now. Yeah. I've yeah. Maxed yeah. Out like that. Gender fucking norms or whatever. Yeah. I mean, it, it, might not think of it that way, but that's sort of like you know different people categorizing it. Yeah. For different things. How I file shit away in my head. Uh. <laughs> Every, you know, everybody's got different language for different, you know, similar concepts. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I don't know, like the like the jokes that I like, you know, the the, the one that I uh, came up with, uh, you know, Caitlyn Jenner was, you know, first representative of trans people for a long time. And, you know, she's not the greatest representative, but you can't deny that she's a woman because, you know, she killed a man with her car. And... <laughs> I was like, oh god, you're not gonna ask me, but remember before you tell me what it was. And yeah, I feel like I remember this. That was, and that's, yeah, that's hilarious. You know, very hilarious. much the you know classic like women bad drivers joke, but it couldn't be worse unless she was Asian. Asian. But coupled, <laughs> but coupled with the uh, uh, sort of. A like trans inclusive radical misogyny where it's like you're pretending that you're being misogynistic, but you're not really to affirm someone. Yes. Now, now, meanwhile, wild. That, that joke is funny to me on another level because but it's, it's my car insurance is higher because I'm a guy because guys tend to get in accidents more than women. So it's sure. got like a second layer of comedy. In my head, because the premise is also stupid, yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> yeah, that's that's messed up. That's fucked up though, because it's like I've never caused a car accident. <laughs> what the fuck? Really? Holy yeah. shit, dude! No, I've, I've been ran off the road. Plenty. <laughs> well, you're the reason why my insurance <laughs> is so high, you asshole. Oh, uh, it was all that's under funny. the age of. 21 i guess probably. yeah 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 men <laughs> under 25 yeah. why their insurance is so high you <laughs> fucked up my rates party on wayne party uh, on guards 
Oh, I wanted to I wanted to talk a bit, I guess, about the uh some of the stuff that you talked about with Seamus. Yeah. Uh, it's not not fully about comedy, but like you're talking about AI. So like the generative AI. So when when you have AI, and he was he was getting on this a bit where AI is getting trained on AI. And that's a bad thing. And that's that's some people call it inbreeding because it's AI trained on AI prompts. And then that causes something in the tech industry called model collapse. Because what you're doing is you are training an AI on stuff produced by an AI, potentially produced on stuff by an AI. So you just get generations and generations and generations of content that moves steadily away from the original inputs that it read from. So it's like getting slot. It's like inbreeding. The more you inbreed, the more fucked up the kid's going to be over time. Yeah, sure. And that's why pugs are I'm... so fucked up. But <laughs> that's also <laughs> that's also why you can't train AI on AI because it'll wind up like a fucking pug. That's an interesting uh, theory. I have not heard that one. I'm not even sure the reference you're alluding to or whatever. With yeah, it's called Seamus interview. It's called inbreeding and model collapse. I just, yeah, I guess I missed that in the uh, conversation I was involved in last. Oh no, you that wasn't fully brought up, but you oh. you were both talking about AI potentially being Touch trained on, on AI. Yeah. Okay, I will um, go back and and, and like the, the <laughs> but usage still besides AI. the. How about the, uh, oh, God. There was a theory about how whatever language is developed, there are unexplainable things through that language can't be described with that language. Oh, oh yeah, no. Seamus confuses the fuck out of me sometimes. Yeah. Incompletion theorem. That's yeah. What it was. Yeah, no. Is Seamus. It's Seamus... not what you're talking about at all. No, because I don't understand. Okay. It because Seamus talks to me in math and it confuses the fuck out yeah. of me. <laughs> It's like I call him out. It's like, especially when I'm drunk too, and I'm just like, I can't follow Uh, along with this when I'm sober, man. What the fuck are you talking about? And he's really smart, but that. Don't try to impose your forehead sweat on me, sir. It's beyond me. (laughs) No, it's impressive. It's just. It is very impressive. I don't fucking follow any of it. Right. Um, I will say AI. The one thing that. Yeah, AI trying to basically. The way AI is going to learn off itself, you're saying that that's no, almost like well, I'm saying type of stuff. People will like inbreeding, so like inbreeding, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, incest. Yeah, it's it's no, incest uh, and inbreeding. Like, it's just family history, right here. <laughs> you need to have you need to have like human touch, and it needs to start from a basis of humans having input, or else it just degrades over time. Yeah. So that's yeah. why that's why a lot of the AI models are training on the internet yeah. pre AI implementation because they want to okay. avoid model collapse and inbreeding. Hmm. That's why I like a lot of them when they scrape the internet, they they instead of like the I think it's like they instead of have like the closed black box thing where they're not trying to scrape from the internet, just be connected to the internet because then they would be scraping too much AI produced content. This is a comedy right. podcast. I'm just fucking talking about the industry. Yeah. Of AI. <laughs> Let me pull uh, my dick out right quick. No. Yeah. I, I will say. Let me Bobby Lee this shit. Yeah, no, dude. Uh, it, whatever. I like, I'm just fucking exploring this whole realm of comedy and media. So some of it's going to be comedy. Some of it's going to be serious. Some of it's going to be exploration and experience, uh, experimentation. So here we are. The one thing that I'll say. Because you two were talking about like having AI do like creative works thing and like oh yeah, well, it'll yeah, it'll yeah. free us for other stuff. I don't. I I think it's best when AI is, uses a tool to help people create stuff, not necessarily creating it on its own. Because what what's important is the creative intent. What a human wants to create and make and can create with AI, but to deliver the message of it to another human. Now, yeah, I'm going to be I mean, a, I, but I'm going to be a hypocrite right now and talk about what AI is better at than most humans. And that's sexting. And it sounds like the kinks faster or what? No, no. So 
I looked into this because I was shown it. I have a part. <laughs> I have a loving partner. I'm not. I'm not bereft for for this. But I was looking into it, and it's funny because AI is better at sexting than the vast majority of people, and that's I... because it's a, there's a simple reason for this. Because the AI is not focused on masturbating while it's sexting. <laughs> That's a good point, dude. So oh. <laughs> it's like because some people can be good at sexting, but then they start masturbating while they're doing it, and then they become fucking lazy. There's some <laughs> so, there, dude. Because the AI doesn't have yeah, one no, the hand. AI... it doesn't have one hand freed up. Yeah, yeah. Or it it's... has a hand freed up, but it. It's terrible with hands at the same time when it tries to. It is fucked up with illustrate. Hands. It's, it's very <laughs> bad so with hands. Kind of that's why it can't. And it doesn't have hands to masturbate to begin with. But there's something there. That's that's hilarious. Huh. That's a that's a good. There's that's, something that's, there, dude. There's you a gotta bit of wrestle with that. Yeah, you gotta um, mentally wrestle with it. I had something else I was gonna ask you, and I forgot. I do have to get a swig of water right quick. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. No, you're good. So did you have a good Valentine's Day? I did. Uh, right on. Boyfriend and I got Thai food. So that was pretty good. Right on. No, it's a, always a good thing for Valentine's Day. Um, What else did I do? I think I put up an entire electrical panel. So not by myself, but with other people at but, work or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So like going yeah. to a house, taking out all of the breakers, turning it off at the meter, you know, replacing the entire electrical system at the house at the panel. That sounds scary. Yeah. Well, I mean, it would be scary if we didn't turn the electricity off, but we did. Um, yeah, but who knows if it's really turned off? <laughs> uh, it's you have, you have tools for that. You have the the stick where if it beeps, you die. Um, and right. touch it. So, good point. Let me get this list. We might be on fire. Jostle's my safe word. Um, <laughs> to come in rough contact while moving, push and shove. Jostled against the others on the crowded platform. I thought Jostle was like. You know, shake something loose, kind of like you're trying to open yeah, yeah. a jar. Jo you got to jostle, yeah, yeah. like you get jostle something. Yeah, around, that is what like that a means. Chain, or, yeah. To make one's way by pushing or elbowing, jostled through the guest to get to the bar. <laughs> to vie for an advantage or position, jostled with several others for the job. I'm pretty sure know. pineapple just has one definition, right? That's a you picked a good safe yeah, word. Yeah, you got a confusing safe word. Yeah. But it was fun to say. That's the only reason I picked it. And then I looked it up and I was very confused. But yeah, now we got more on that phone there. Oh. Uh, I guess I'm reading on the guide here. A lot of this is not very funny. It's deeply political, actually. <laughs> what, my outline. Uh yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm pro, like I'm pronouns. That's the next one on my I'm list pronouns. here. Did that's I the, did I send the, that to you? I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I edited, and then I would edit yours, and I would edit mine. I don't know if I updated yours while mm -hmm. that's editing the, mine. That's the, the 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 joke about pronouns. The uh, I do not have pronouns. Do not refer to me. Like it's like to leave me alone. Okay, I like that. That's, that's I the joke. That one, yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah, I was uh, thinking like um, as a as a. One group trying to help teach the rest of the world how how to, you know, use these pronouns. And mm -hmm. I just, for some reason, I think of like a special ed teacher trying to teach like a really country bumpkin kid how to use these pronouns or whatever. Like see, a little country see, bumpkin kid I, doesn't even know what nouns are. And he's like, yeah, I'm pro nouns. I like things. <laughs> you know, I'm pro nouns. <laughs> I just don't get what you talk about. He's pro nouns. <laughs> Other That's than a good bit. how he understands it. Um, yeah, I, don't know. I like your. So, I, I, now, I will say that um, 
there there are when talking like jokes about pronouns and like the identify as attack helicopter shit like that a lot of that's very overplayed Wait, wait, and wait, very wait, wait, wait. You can't, we can't blow over that. What? No, helicopter? like the like the old joke, the, oh, I identify as an attack helicopter, like that. I don't know that one. Oh, okay. Well, sorry. That's, that's very much like <laughs> You'll people find making... I'm very slow with some of these <laughs> societal references. And so such. that's that's <laughs> very much like people that are like, um, oh, if, it's like, oh, if you identify as a woman or if, oh, if you identify as a man, then I'll identify as an attack helicopter. It's like being... needlessly hyperbolic completely opposite of whatever to, the to person you're interacting with oh geez man, it sounds um but uncomfortable i don't know what i was saying helicopter attack yeah, helicopter. helicopter anyway um <laughs> sorry <laughs> if i could have uh helped you along with that one i would have yeah i don't the fuck was i saying And if I was more tech savvy, I probably could like rewind this video right quick and be like, replay it back, and then we'd figure it out. But I don't know how to do that. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, I like All your, right. I like your joke of the. Um, okay, yeah. So what I was saying is that like a lot of people that don't necessarily know a lot about the LGBT community, mm. their trans issues and stuff, will make jokes about it that are like, like either very hurtful or mean or. But that's not the issue. The issue is that it it comes from a place of ignorance, but it comes from a place of ignorance where it's like I'm I'm claiming that I have knowledge on this because oh it's so easy to understand biology is so simple blah blah this that. Your joke about wanting to have like three kids, the I want a boy, I want a girl, and I want to have a woke kid so that they can guide me through all this shit. I like that joke. And I like that joke because it You know, and from just talking to you, you don't necessarily have like a full grasp on the entire situation, but it wasn't, it wasn't like a cheap dig uh, oh, at, a at the community, curious dig. but it was a joke. <laughs> it was a joke about not understanding, yeah. but it was obviously you do it better than me. And, and I was just referencing to it, but it was uh, appreciated. It was an appreciated, like uh, I, I wasn't expecting enjoying it. All right. But I did. Well, that's cool. I was I was gonna totally avo um abandon that joke. <laughs> I like it. I, well, I, I I I might work on it then. That's it, cool. No, I appreciate it. Yeah. And the reason why I like it is because it. Wait for it. It's coming. What does a stranger okay. think? Okay. I, yeah, I I I don't want you to think this is coming off as mean. So okay. So oh, do you know, it's do, all. Do you know the word critical thinking and do you know the word constructive uh, criticism? It's all. Do critical. you know the word uh like bimbo? Mm -hmm. Do you know the word himbo? Mm -mm. Okay, so himbo is just a bimbo, but a guy, but it's generally used in a very positive sense. Okay. In like uh like did you see the Barbie movie? <laughs> Not yet. I, I plan on oh, watching it, it wherever really... I can find it for free. <laughs> a lot of it was very good. Well, I, I can help you out with that. Um, <laughs> but so generally himbo is used in a very positive way where it's like like that skater dude is a himbo. Like he's he's dumb but very lovable. Or okay. generally about like a thing where it's like just be like some it, Dude, don't tell me I'm a himbo. No. <laughs> just on that one issue. Where it was like It was very much like your heart's in the right place. You know nothing <laughs> about this. And oh it was, shit! Cool. It's, That's cool, it's endearing. It's endearing. It's a good thing. People don't. People also don't use himbo like they use bimbo. Bimbo tends to be more like degrading, whereas himbo tends to be more like, "Hey, that guy's got good vibes." Endearing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's funny. Oh shit. Uh, so yeah, no, I like I like that joke. Uh, right on. I will remember that. Hmm. Oh yeah, the what humankind has in similarities rather than focusing on our differences. Yeah, yeah. I, I I'll say that for starters, everyone thinks that you should be a good person. The issue is right. that we all disagree on what that. 
right what is no one's like no one's like yeah no i think you should be a bad person like i'm gonna be a bad guy like no one's like that like well i mean there are some people that are like that but (laughs) those i think i grew up with one those those people tend to be like the uh the you know type of like schizo crazy people who tend to go shooting and shit like that um, but that's yeah, that's like not a, most of society. Most of good society time is like for them is just a little different than a good time for you and me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I like eating ice cream and petting dogs, and they like shooting children. Uh, yeah. It's a you know throwing rocks and ducks. Um, but uh, you know, everyone thinks that like you know you should be a good person. You should help society. You should uh, you know not do bad things. People just disagree on what those things are so like a lot of it comes back to the things that you value like do you value freedom do you value human happiness do you value um you know like respect structure and order of the family like what are the things that you value and a lot of people depending upon where they weigh their values and what like their moral axioms are just kind of the starting point for your philosophical base if you're actually trying to create a system that you can refer back to when met with new information or a new topic instead of just yeah yeah instead of just kind of having just a vibes based approach to like i think that's bad i think that's good without Mm -hmm. being able to justify yourself right why yeah it's a very good point because it's like well why do i think this is bad and most often a lot of that leads to this hurts people like this hurts people. It doesn't help people. It, and, and and generally, but someone can be like, "Oh, this hurts people," so uh, you know we should get rid of it. But then that can strip away freedom. So it it's a lot about you know. Yes, yes, that's a where you a balance huge things. line. Yeah, it's a big line in the sand, I guess. <clears throat> how how to. Yeah, generate freedom without strangling it at the same time. Well, and that's how you get into positive and negative liberty, but that's a that's a huge political conversation just yeah, right. describing. And this yeah. is not a political I yeah. mean it might turn into it. <clears throat> well no, with me no, with me every to, I, I would with me everything does because I tend to ramble. I do too. I mean that's fine. <clears throat> that's why I came. I just started doing this because it's it's the only outlet for this kind of thing for me i don't i don't know how else to satisfy it so we got the podcast um, we got the stand-up the comedy the just just doing it just getting it out there saying it just talking about it without somebody trying to rip your head off for it like i just feel like we we can't talk enough like not you and me but like as a population society we well, I'm in an. We're not online... able to just talk and joke around. I mean, I'm in an online political Discord. So, are you? Wow. Yeah, that's a, that's that's a lot of my. Yeah, I got a little off track, but yeah, yeah. But those can those can be bad. So, um, depending upon which one you're in. Regardless of that, I don't want anything to do with it right now. Yeah, it's honestly <laughs> probably best to stay away from those <laughs> most of the time. <clears throat> but. It's probably like the things that are hardest to talk about are probably the things that we need to talk about most. So that that becomes lost in conversation, I think, uh, in in normal conversation. But that's all right for now. Oh, okay. I'm back. There was a... Oh, I thought you were intently listening. No, I was not. (laughs) You were frozen. But you were like, (laughs) <laughs> you know oh, well. I, well I, I think that, that good outlets for that can be just um I, I mean obviously the best outlet for something like that would be like volunteering at a soup kitchen some people do poetry i've done poetry um comedy if you can incorporate it into your comedy without coming across like a preachy piece of shit which is hard sometimes exactly yeah um i try not to I've succeeded sometimes and <laughs> failed at others. Right. Oh, that was one thing I wanted to talk about. Eh, we're going 
It's a freestyle podcast, guys. Um, some some words are safe to talk about in your comedy set, and some words are not so safe. Yeah, like you used, um, if you don't mind me saying, and I can cut anything out if we need to. Yeah, and and the own terrible with names, but. Yeah, so she said something in the middle yeah, of your set. You yeah, can't she, use that word. And you're like, sorry, yada yada. And I'll blow well, it I out. I was like, I think I, it's coming back. Actually, I didn't. I didn't necessarily. I didn't necessarily say sorry. Um, no, I think that it, not have. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was paraphrasing and all that. I think that um, obviously you shouldn't use those words to demean people. And I wasn't. No, no, but in also, comedy, there's a whole fucking place for yeah. it. And also, <laughs> it's comedy. <laughs> Come on. Also, like, so that's yeah, kind of who like are you telling to not use the verbiage. It's kind of like <sighs> telling a gay guy who is making these rules, anyways. That's well, it's kind of like I'm telling saying. a gay guy that he. Yeah, um, yeah. And I was actually thinking about replacing that f bomb with an old school f bomb that nobody says anymore. At least. Maybe not in my circles. Fruit flamer, flamer, yeah. Like where yeah. where'd flamer go? I was like, why can't I, I, we use that instead? Like that's pretty know, fun still, I, as far fairy. as pop goes. Fairy is another fun. one. There's a lot of yeah. Like you know, although to be fair, a lot of these have been. Um. No. no okay. Uh. Sorry. I, I will just say pineapples because yeah, no problem. Yeah. 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 Um. You know, but w w when it comes to like uh. People reclaiming slurs uh like you know fruit blamer fairy like the gay community has reclaimed a lot of those like you'll see gay guys with flamer fruit uh fairy are like, there any stickers for like, your bumper on with the flame <laughs> oh tattoo <laughs> like a bumper sticker jesus yeah okay. like like uh you know my, my boyfriend and i'll also just be like you know talking about stuff and um you know, like he'll he'll be like, "Oh, you're being a bit fruity," and I'm like, "Oh, like oh, I'm your fruit," and it's like stupid <laughs> yes. shit like that. See, that's fucking fun though. Uh, it's yeah, like a it's, banter, it's, it's, and it's just fucking back and forth. It's a yeah. volley. It's fucking fun. Who cares? Yeah, but and no. I think that, and I mean, in my opinion, I think that now I can't give out. I'm not giving out passes for anything. But right. what, yeah, what I will say is that, to do that in like in, in I'm in asking mixed, for it, but yeah, yeah, in in <laughs> in mixed company when you're like, I feel like what gives you the right to say something like that is one, if the people around you are comfortable about it, and two, if you're not actually like hateful or discriminatory towards that group. Right. Right. But, I feel like. It can be a little fuzzy on that line, though, I guess. But, like, other than that, like, I, you know, what's, God, I, see, the issue here is that I have no desire to say the N word. Um, N word? Oh, I've got a whole plethora of jokes surrounding the N word. But, but, <laughs> but it's like, what's, what is, what is, like, more racist like a you know a white guy who has a bunch of black friends and they say that he can use it and he uses it when he's around them but not around other people where they don't want him to it is is that white guy saying the n-word more racist when the people around him are okay with it or is it the white guy at the bank wearing a business suit that never says the n-word but is denying home loans to black people because they're black. I think sometimes that we focus on the wrong issues. For sure. Yes. Um, <clears throat> I can totally the, agree with you on that. A lot of the more systemic issues are the more quiet racism and not the out in the open. That being said, um, you shouldn't say shit around people if they're not comfortable about you saying it. It's just kind of the, yeah. that's just being nice to people. Um, <clears throat> So I'm okay right. with some people saying, you know, the F slur around me as long as they're being jovial and uh, nice. Yeah, and I know yeah, who they are. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Don't be obnoxious, basically. 
Well, you can be a bit obnoxious. Just don't be a yeah, dick. I mean, you know, yeah, yeah. Just don't be a fag about it. Well, yeah. <laughs> basically. Uh, yeah, basically. <laughs> uh and then and then that's not okay to say. So then the society says, okay, we're gonna call it uh, Karen. Don't be a Karen about it. Is that yeah. kind of similar? Is that um, kind of in a way? I don't know. I feel yeah. like I feel like people aren't generally beat after they're called a Karen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There, there's a long history of people being called a fag and then being beaten. So I feel like that makes it I'm a little sorry. different. Uh, oh no! I'm just, one, uh, I'm, the... I'm just picking fun. But, yeah, on my ignorance um, board, or strike another tally on my ignorance board. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Oh. I, think, I, I think that's so funny where people are like, Karen's a slur, Boomer's a slur. No, it's, it's, and it's, it's like, slur. Well, it's well, the thing is, funny. Is that, <laughs> well, the thing is, is that, you know, you could take the, the intellectual approach and be like, well, yeah, you are using Karen. To denote an archetype of a person, generally a, a woman, but you can call a guy a Karen, uh, who yeah, is engaging really. in bitchy behavior, it... asking for someone's manager when mm-hmm, mm-hmm. they want to get something they're not owed, and the employee is just trying to get through his wagey cagey job, just trying to live out his day. <laughs> now, 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 is creating that archetype and assigning that archetype, which is a negative one, to a person a slur? Yes, but I don't care because it doesn't really harm people. Right. That was quick. It's, I'm sorry. It's I'm like trying to... Karen is a slur, and I will <laughs> use it. That's the that's the difference. There is that I'm never going to like call someone the N word. I'm no, never going to, no. you know, no need for that. You know, I'm never going to call someone a racial slur, or like a homophobic slur, out of hate. But I will call someone who is terrorizing, you know, this 16 year old employee at McDonald's a Karen, because they're being a fucking Karen. Like yeah, that's nonsense. She's yeah. trying to figure out her life here. Why you got to talk to her like that? Why do they also all have the same hair? Fucking French fries. It's, it's, Karens it's, or people at McDonald's? Karens. It's always, no. it's always, it's always that blonde <laughs> sort of like yeah. very straight Short, kind of yeah. bob. Oh, you know where it's like yeah. it goes up sharp like sharp at the bottom, kind yep. of. Like, sh- kind of like that. It's the it's the suburban housewife haircut. It says, "Don't fuck up my to-go order, or else." I'll park my in, my huge fucking SUV in the parking lot. <laughs> my H- come inside and H3, yell at you. Three bitch. <laughs> edging education. Ego strokes. Oh. Edging education. Yeah. What's well, <clears throat> edging education. Uh, oh, that. You, have you ever watched the Doozy Pod show? I actually don't watch a lot of pod shows. No? Okay. No. I don't even know if many of them call themselves pod shows, but uh, as far as comedy purposes go, I think... They uh, call them podcasts, I think. Yeah, They're podcasts, just a right. Yeah. Podcast with a video. <laughs> pod show is kind of funny. I like Stavros. Stavros, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Stavi's uh, good. I haven't watched him yet. I think I've recently followed him and have it in queue, basically, to watch, but... He's got some limited... Uh... <clears throat> comedy specials on netflix that are very good yeah yeah i think i've at least seen one of them i've seen them all over different podcasts but he he had a take on comedy which was one of the best now you know it it, this is a podcast about comedy and we're gonna gatekeep comedy (laughs) uh uh you know like i have been being a dick that i am um his take (laughs) was uh very good in the sense that don't brag about being offensive. Just fucking be offensive. Right. Because That's a good point. Ricky Ricky Gervais used to be funny, in mm-hmm. my opinion. And yeah, yeah, I mean, when his new funny. comedy special came out, there was a lot of talk about it in like in articles and him saying, Oh, this is gonna be so offensive. You you know, sissy liberal snowflakes aren't aren't ready for it. 
Yet no articles talked uh, about how it was funny. After it hit, wow! Like they just talked about how it was offensive. Which huh. I watch comedy because it's funny, right? Not because yeah. it's offensive. It could be edgy, but like there's no. A you line. can be edgy yeah. and offensive and funny, but yeah. but focus on the funny. That's a problem, man. Absolute like, power corrupts. Absolutely, it's. I don't know. There's something. There's a line just, that people cross, or there's a. I, I just think that people get maybe they can confuse and then come back. Hopefully, they can come back. People get, um, you know, all this love and admiration. They're like, "Oh, I'm I'm this big comedy person," and because you know he he has millions and millions of dollar specials on like Netflix or whatever, and or whatever it was on, and then he gets defensive when people criticize his shit. And they're saying that they're like, they're canceling him. Or he's like, oh, I'm so canceled. It's like, you you have million dollar comedy specials on Netflix. You're not canceled at all. You have a Exactly. Huge I think that's a funny fucking word that gets thrown around. So, the way, but... so it would be funnier if he just talked more about his balls floating in the bathtub instead of him just talking about how offensive he's going to be. And if you are going to be offensive, just make the joke. Don't waste my time. Right, right. And how unrelatable is it? Like once you start talking about these kinds of problems that you have, once you're at that level, your whole crowd has no idea how to relate to that. So it's like yeah. you find yourself, I don't know, I guess floating away from what makes this fucking pure, I guess, in a way. <sighs> Whatever. I'm getting tired, and I will get a little more loopy as that happens. <laughs> ah, I got more too, though. Uh, sorry if I didn't quite. I don't know. Did I catch your point at all, or did I take that in a weird direction? Oh, I was just ranting about. I was just ranting about another, like, I don't know, principled stance on comedy because I'm not funny. <laughs> That's bullshit, it's, though. <laughs> I do the same thing though. I try to act humble and say I'm not funny. No, in I, fact, I, sir, you're fucking hilarious. But <clears throat> continue. I understand. Oh no, that's <laughs> continue to uh to to wax philosophy. Uh, in yeah, this, in polish this it off. Uh, <laughs> that. <laughs> um. Edging education. Oh. Fuck. School systems are crazy, right? So okay, so what do you mean by edging education? What does edging mean in this con in this context? I don't is know. It... I'm playing I'm playing with words and fucking grammatical things. So it's like okay. alliter- it's alliteration. Edging mm-hmm. education. I recently learned about edging where you whatever, whether it's with sex or masturbation, you're getting close to the end, but you just don't make it happen. So you know what's education like? We're getting you're gonna you're gonna bring you're gonna bring a you're gonna bring a queer person on your podcast to talk about edging and education. No, you you merely That's sparked funny. the fucking segment. You sparked the idea of the segment, or you didn't. But I guess my no, I'm, thinking I'm, I'm, of you coming on, I'm yeah, being right. a dick. I know <laughs> it's fine. I really want to bring this up. Every I'm trying to find segments that I will make permanent, basically. So yeah, yeah. I, I like talking about education because. That's what comedy does. Comedy makes humor or light of all of our issues. Or I don't know what the what the fucking phrase is or the the quote is. Like trauma plus what is it? Trauma plus introspection, reflection, something equals thought. comedy or laughter. Yeah. Maybe trauma yeah. plus well, comedy I, equals laughter. I don't know what it is. That's that. That's why um the people that tend to be the funniest tend to be the people that. I have had like some of the most trauma. So yeah, like, yeah, there's, yeah, a ton, yeah. there's a ton of like Jewish comedians, like Jews, Jews are known to generally have a good sense of humor. Um, uh-huh, uh-huh. Maybe not yeah, recently. Growing up. No, um, growing up. Well, Adam Sandler, I mean, there's a lot of fucking funny. I like, Jews, I like uh, Sarah Silverman. It's ben Stiller. Sarah Silverman's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> uh, the, yeah, there's 
something I was going to say yeah, after like, the uh, second segment. Was go ahead. Go ahead, though. Say yeah, yeah, no, but, but, but stuff. Tr- trauma, trauma being funny, um, like like joking about the trauma being funny. So like there's a lot of a lot of Jewish comedians, uh, you know, that make uh you know jokes at their own expense there's a lot of black comedians that make jokes at their own expense a lot of gay comedians that make jokes at their own expense but but talking about like you know the trauma the experience in a, in a way that it what it does is it also um it gets people to like empathize with you and right. you're making a joke about it but they're also like fuck that shit happened that sucks so that might you know and them watching that comedy experience if they it's don't watch like the a- news it's almost like it gives her emotion direction. So like if yeah. your emotion is lost on a topic, you can watch a comedy special and all of a sudden now you have direction where to place your emotion. Yeah. Which is you why know? comedians are important. So it's like, okay, it's fucking funny in a way. There's nothing I could do about it, but at least I can have that perspective, you know, perspective is fucking key. I think. Well, yeah. And a lot of us get lost on one specific direction of perspective. I don't know. Yeah, it's tough. Um, so edging education, though, I realized that I'd forgotten mm -hmm. (laughs) the whole segment topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's edge it out. Let's like, in a way, school is almost there, but it's not quite there. You know, so it's like uh, the whole education system is is edging its completion (laughs) in a way. And what do we do? Like, how do we figure out how to not have to edge education? How do we get education to completion? <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, I, I, I the best think that, way I can explain it. I, I think that Montessori um, schools, homeschool, you know, like there's like, all these other options. Um, we yeah, are but, actually homeschooling here at my house. I, got I think kids. that I think that here we go. The one of the one of the best things are, are are you doing like stuff like where you're also uh you know having your your kid uh around like other kids that are also being homeschooled because that's a very important oh part. yeah 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 okay and this yeah. is all i would have to say i can't take credit for this whole idea because if it was up to me i would have probably just caved on public school system because that's how i was raised but my wife was very adamant about homeschooling or private school or some kind of Christian kind of Catholic school, something I was mm-hmm. kind of, and in my mind, I was against that, but we didn't get there. So public schools, but all now, the arguments she made about homeschooling, I was like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And like all the bullying that I encountered, all the bullying I saw, all the shit I see on Twitter and Instagram and whatever other social media platforms today about kids and the bullying is insane. And the things you hear about with even online, like not even in person, just online bullying is insane. So it's it like, is insane. It's fucking horrible. We've kept my kids out of that. And I kind of feel good about it so far. That being said, if I wasn't bullied... And I'm not saying getting bullied's good. I'm not saying no. I was too. Or anything like that. And I feel like it does but build it, character for but sure. But I'm saying but... it. I wouldn't go back and change any formative experience of who made me who I am now, because Same, that would change yeah. who I am. I'm sure. Now that being said, trying to um, you know have your child not experience those things is good. Um, in, in a sense that like stuff, stu- you know. It, well, they still if you don't, could and if you don't groups, bend you break involved. and you're trying to avoid breaking your child right um so i i completely understand that um i feel like i was broken in life <clears throat> and just you know been putting myself back together the whole time and i feel like a lot of people could relate to that but... I, I will say uh uh the the public school system in florida um could be better so yeah <laughs> I Private schooling might be better. Uh, <laughs> I grew up in Virginia, and supposedly Florida was like at the bottom of the list well, on I went efficiency, I guess. But I went to Pine View, which was like I think the eighth best high school in the country. Um, Pine Pine View in Florida, or is it something? Yeah, Pine View in Florida. So Pine View, oh, it's, wow. a, it's an Osprey. It's a magnet school. So basically, everybody that's above a certain IQ in the others like basically if you're in a gifted program and you're still like this is boring this fucking sucks like i'm not being stimulated 
then you generally will test and you could potentially go to pine view which is like that's nuts i yeah. was either just on the curt tail the curt i don't even know what the phrase is but i was on the opposite end of that Cusp. spectrum trying oh. not to not to get into the special <laughs> needs classes yeah yeah like, try not to get into no. the special yeah, yeah. <laughs> i yeah. can't read i swear to god uh, uh so yeah no um, although uh with a lot of people that you know have a high iq or or tend to be you know in the uh, you know the gifted program. They they also tend to be awkward as fuck. You sure? And that's that's a, <laughs> including me. Yeah, I feel that um, dude. Social awkwardness. The, oh. uh, it's <clears throat> kind of like the autism giveth and the autism taketh away. Right. Uh, <laughs> how do you, how does I would I've been wanting to research and I have no fucking time to research any of my interests lately. But what's this like? How do you get diagnosed with the autism or on the spectrum of autism is it a psychiatrist well, is there certain characteristics because a lot of comedians will joke about it nowadays and i've been yeah. one of them but i don't even really, i don't really know if i so, am on the spectrum or not the, the reason why i don't have a formal diagnosis is because i don't want my rights taken away yeah uh but well, you can't have a gun in this country or there's yeah, other things i'm sure you can't bullshit. do right. but it's like i would country state but, but the thing is, is that, like, I don't know if you were to, like, you know, it, it, either it's like, okay, if you are autistic, you get 20 bucks on a pizza. But if you're not autistic, you die. Like, I would press that button. I would take that bet. I'm fairly confident in that. <laughs> you know, because, like, you also look back at, like, your, your early formative I'm years hungry. as a kid. And you're like, oh, I was the autistic kid. God damn it. Yeah, <laughs> you're yeah, just like oh, uh, cringy. Yeah, so yes, I feel the same. But it's way, also, dude. I have no formal diagnosis, but it's like God. That makes a lot of sense when I look back on. <laughs> That's also life. like ADHD, which I am diagnosed with, is like uh, comorbid. And then there's just like a lot of other things. Uh, I, I mean, I'm just fairly confident in it. Um, sure. But yeah, no, there are a lot of people that like. Uh, not not everyone's autistic and people are, are i guess over self-diagnosing um but who knows they, it's like what if we don't even know like what autism really is well, and like it, what if we're just slapping some kind of label and a definition on it and it's like in the future we're gonna find out that you, the spectrum is so much more intricate and complex you, than you could have ever imagined because there's some other kind of well, do you want to hear soul that created this whole fucking thing, anyways? And it's beyond our comprehension. Do yeah. you want to hear something funny and fucked up? So yeah, every day in the early, I, I don't actually know when this was like in the fifties or sixties or something. They did a study on autistic people to try to like demonize them, to try and be like, okay, like are autistic Common people tactic? Yes, are sir. they like moral? <clears throat> mm -hmm. And what they found was they did a test with like autistic people and neurotypical people so neuro brain typical typical normal like neurotypical means the common the brain typical. yeah yeah neurodivergent means divergent different outside so of the virgins. They, they did <laughs> a test on autistic people versus neurotypical people to create a, a basis of moral and they found that autistic people tend to more strictly follow their own morals than sure. neurotypical people so in nuts you say so, this so instead what? of saying instead of saying um oh neuro you know autistic people are more moral or you know are more focused on following their own morals they they wrote the phrase autistic people are obsessed with morality <laughs> and yeah, that's how they yeah. that's okay how they, i'm definitely on the spectrum then. <laughs> so that's how they like what the fuck framed it in a negative way it's because the whole point of the paper was to demonize autistic people in the first place so it's just kind of fucking funny how like these studies can come out and depend or like information can come out and depending upon the framing 
of it, like how it's written about, even if the information is true, they can make it sound bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's nuts, dude. People are Weasley. Yeah, because I feel like growing up, I, I had a crazy moral construct in my mind at a very young age. And growing up, I had to tear it down just to fit in with my friends of elementary school. Mm -hmm. You know, the shit that they were like, this is okay to do. I was like, oh, God. Uh, like, it doesn't feel right, but I don't well, want to be ostracized. So I'm yeah. going to do it just because they're doing it or whatever. Well, we talked about, um, I don't know if but this it was is called. very uncomfortable. That's fucking wild. I don't know if this is meant to be called uh, the. The yokification, or 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 the the it's, something. Yeah. Are, are you still doing the yoke thing? Yeah, we got to de yoke, okay. man. This is like we have to fucking tear down the societal constructs, and we have to redo so, it. We have to reform the, it. We have to fucking yeah, plow with, your own field. With <laughs> autism, the whole like, I guess pulling back the yoke. It's called, I guess. Which you created a term for something that already kind of had a term for it. Oh, for sure. Yeah. There's which plenty is, of ideals, uh, co parallel ideas. And, yeah. Which is like unmasking. So yeah. you put yeah. on, you put on that mask, which allows you to more easily socialize with other people, that allows you to more easily, easily um, engage with society, with how society has been set up, because society is not set up for people that do not conform. I would say de causes one to realize they can take off their mask. So there is a little bit of a difference in a way, but that's just in my own little, yeah. you know. So like there will, <laughs> my own psycho brain. But there will be like autistic people that, you know, learn how to mask and learn how to appear, you know, get, a, like, get along with others, you know, sort of like be less stringent and strict and, you know, uh, uh, stiff, right, right? Um, and at some point, some of them will just be like, "Oh, they can unmask around their friends, so they can act at you know, act yes, out who they truly are around their I friends." I found myself doing that, and that's all I could do, and I didn't realize that's what I was doing. But yeah, yeah, and then you become hard to deal with around other people, and you're like, "Oh, fuck, right, I'm, right. I, I'm not in a, I'm not in a situation where I can easily just be myself." Right. So you mm, gotta not you at know, all. You just try to fucking figure out a new mask. Yeah. So like th there's this there's this book called Unmasking Autism. I haven't read it yet, but it would um it's definitely gonna be uh, a book that I'm going to read and it would probably be a good book for anyone that has dealt with like Oh yeah. Masking I'll, issues. I will put that on my list because I don't read, so I have to figure out where it's at it. Audible. Yeah, I need to get it. Uh, yeah, I've, I've been listening to the I've been listening to the fucking Warhammer 40k audiobooks. Uh, Warhammer 4k. Warhammer was that like a game similar like Dungeons and Dragons or something? A tabletop game. Okay. Yeah, they also have books about it. Uh, it's like the largest sci-fi universe. There's like over 300 books. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. I'm fucking uh, incompetent when it comes to books. I tried to read Goosebumps and I'd get like a third of the way quarter of the way through it and just oh well i mean up. i'm i'm listening i'm listening to them on audible like, when i'm driving oh or, nice yeah, yeah when i'm like making food sounds fun though yeah, yeah. oh they're fun More. it's just fun sci-fi yeah oh yeah oh yeah one one clean bit one dirty bit two bit yeah there it is why, why, why don't you start off that's okay <laughs> touche sir um all right <laughs> I've, I think I've, okay, this is a clean bit, I think. Um, I think I've answered the age old question of why do our kids ask us so many fucking questions? Mm -hmm. Right? Everybody kind of, it's common knowledge. My wife was asking me one day, and I was like, well, you know, they grow up and they watch their mother ask their fucking father 
a hundred and twenty questions every goddamn day. Or something Oops, like that. Like, mess that up with a bunch of cuss words. Moms are asking the dads or the boy uh, girlfriends are asking the boyfriends a million questions. Like, forbid you were home from work fifteen minutes late one day, and your girlfriend or your wife's gonna be asking you a million fucking questions about that. The kids are there to see. It. And uh, yeah, uh, oh, Thought I had a, there. I had a really stupid, stupid fucking thought while i was drunk one time uh and that sort of turned to a bit uh where it's i feel like i'm jealous of cows sometimes and uh it's because like you know when you wake up and like you kind of like look at that like the dewy grass like it looks delicious like it looks really crisp but i can't <laughs> i can't truly enjoy eating it like a cow could <laughs> and that kind of makes me upset that's not even just a clean bit. That's like a very refreshing and crisp a bit. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah. The, the we the, cold uh, grass. Yeah, yeah the, the on a uh, cow's. What's that called? A cow's. Uh, I can't think of what that's called. The way they munch it. Cud. Oh well. Cud. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah. So, so the 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 bit. Um, Oh yeah, that having four stomachs that hit that uh shit hits different. Ooh, uh, ooh, that's a dirty one. <laughs> uh, no, no, I was like, <laughs> no, oh, okay, so. Oh, um, I think what's funny is that like now that I've been working construction and I've been on job sites and stuff like that, uh, like they'll always be specifically in the porta potty, like uh, you know, one of those containers of the. Uh, like the wipes, but they're the dude wipes mm-hmm. because you can't, you have to buy the dude wipes or else, you know, I guess wiping your ass with a soft cloth makes you gay. Yeah, You, you have to buy the dude wipes. <laughs> so, so it's funny. It's like, it's like that we had to resort to special marketing just so that guys would have a clean ass. Clean their ass is better. <laughs> That's kind of fucked up. <laughs> It's that reverse psychology, though, that you need to do to yeah. sway the masses. Yeah, it's uh, it's fucking it's, funny. <laughs> I mean, they took they, the marketers knew what they were doing, but it's also like, do, do they? I I want to believe that like it says the, something deeper about. <laughs> well, no, I, I, in society. Oh yeah, no, it does say something deeper. It, it's that it's that the vast majority wipes of, that get deeper. <laughs> so many <laughs> Ugh. sorry so many so many guys so, are just uh, i don't know elementary i am so many guys are just very very insecure about their, right, their masculinity right. which a, you're spot on with that dude which and as I a didn't know how to put that into the words but that's yeah. how you put it in the words. And and as as a gay guy, you kind of avoid that. A, I don't want to say avoid that a bit. You kind of get emasculated by society oh, already. I would think you're sidestepping it by taking that on. <laughs> so so you, you worry about it less. But the thing is, that that's a freeing thing. And it's sort of like, I wish... Yeah. I wish for four straight guys that they could experience the freedom of giving a shit less about their masculinity still Amen. work still working out if they want to still being still being a dad. masculine dad archetype barbecue that's shit, part of but the just yoking. Yeah. but just not yeah. being insecure right you don't have to take these definitions and labels that people have already put before you were born you don't have to adopt those things you can make it new for you you don't have to i don't know just it's it's very silly and that's now yeah. I will say my um my little head cannon is that the CEO of Dude Wipes is just like some like suburban mom that got really fucking tired of skid marks in her husband's underwear <laughs> in the laundry. She's like, fuck, I have to do something. Just all of a sudden, like a it's like a rain man of marketing genius to get her husband to use these fucking dude wipes because she what named other, him as such what other things did yeah, I? yeah what do we got shoot up two bit one bit i didn't do a dirty bit um oh i uh, podcast has been dirty so i guess i don't really need to do a dirty bit 
there uh <laughs> i saw this thing on facebook where um this is transphobic lady that was i don't know being uh i don't know mean about uh some like trans woman who she the, the trans woman like took hormones where she could actually produce breast milk um so started as a man transitioned yeah. to a woman yeah with the hormone intake was able to produce lactation yeah and that's i don't actually know what the hormones are but they're not the standard ones i don't either yeah. of people going on hrt <laughs> i think one of them's yeah. i don't know anyway but like a lot of women got very upset for some reason because it feels like I don't know. I, I, I feel like, okay, I know why. The, 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 that's, the, the, that's where Karen start to trip over herself, you know? Well, I know, I know the, the reason why. And the reason why is because we've reduced women to just being the, the housemaker, the homemaker, and not being anything else. So when they feel that that's encroached upon, they feel that they're, val that they're being devalued or replaced. When it's like, that doesn't need to be the only thing that you do. You can be more than that if you want to. Yeah. You can also be... Uh, a housewife you can be a house husband yeah it's totally cool just don't be fucking weird have, about it you can also have hobbies <laughs> yeah, yeah you can also have hobbies it, don't be a creep about it just fucking do it and then have your hobby you can also have hobbies men tend to make fun of women's hobbies though they astrology is made fun of a lot <laughs> that's because we don't know how to fuck with each other without punching each other in dick and whatever uh, uh but anyway um, yeah what dude's i was a dude, dude's a what dumb. i was what I was getting at was this lady was um, and I implement that on women, I guess is what I was trying to say. The dude humor, you know, you can't, yeah. it's like dudes trying to implement that on the women. And it's just not going to work. Anyway. Yeah. Sorry. Well, also like, yeah. Uh, anyway. So, sorry. so this woman that was, that was making fun of trans women, this, this lady got like, I guess her tits were crooked. Uh, um, like, so she got, so she got a boob job. Were they like? I don't know. They were like they were like. Is like one bigger than the other? Or I don't like, know. They, maybe they look surprised. They were facing outward. Surprised? Sure. Did anyway. they misdirecting her? Like if. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, this 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 lady got a boob job, and then she was being transphobic. So I saw someone in the comments. Um, she was complaining about like people like, you know, changing their bodies and not going with nature. And someone in the comments was just like, "Didn't you get a boob job?" Like her. Ooh. Her tits, her tits aren't made of silicone, and yours are. Sure. So. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. But, there's that. It's like the kettle. What is it? Pot kiln. Pot uh, kiln. The kettle, kettle black. I can't even speak, dude. Yeah, I'm. My brain's wearing thin at this hour. <laughs> I'm sorry. Facebook is. Um, I feel like, yeah, I feel like this has actually been. Fucking fun, man. I don't know about you. What about Facebook, though? Facebook's kind of fucked up, and I, I, I always go in the I'm comment section. It, yeah. I, like, I go in the comment section sometimes. I don't really ever type in the comment section, but I just go in there just to see, oh, what pe like, I saw a cool video about a bug. It was just like, like a really cool, neat bug. And then I go in the comments, and people are talking about how cool this bug is. Um, but then, like, you always, on every single nature video, Every single nature video, you always have someone being like, "Oh, glory to God and all of His creation for us and everything that He does for us." And it's just like, can can you just appreciate the bug? It's a like, fucking cool bug. Can you just appreciate the bug <laughs> without like bringing no like, shit, like trying to bring some your other abusive shit to it, relationship like... with your father into this. Like, <laughs> come on! Oh, jeez. How we deal with pain, I guess. You put your pain on a bug. And you oh, post I, was, it to I, I, I was more so comparing God to an abusive father. Yeah, uh, sure. But, but, <laughs> however your traumas are late now, you have to equate that. But. Uh, <laughs> uh, fucking killed his kid. Turn uh, things up. Who did? God? Yeah. yeah. And teased another dude about killing his kid and i was like no, no i'm just kidding you don't have to do that just wanted to see if you would <laughs> i like how uh how fuck what was his name isaac isaac was just like kind of like probably eyeing his dad after that like every day just like yeah. what the fuck dad yeah jesus watching him cut like a little slice of the prime rib off I'm like 
uh, that could have been me, Dad. <laughs> well, I don't think he would have eaten him. I don't think God is fond of. I think it's a pagan thing. Just the knife and meat. I don't know. It's a bad relation. Uh, 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 whatever. <clears throat> Man. Oh yeah. Uh, pseudo ad read. Uh, I'm not gonna get to that tonight. If I can, I will. Um, basically, a box from one of the grills I build it comes with a very rigid stick of cardboard. And so I want to cut them in half. And then I've got a bunch of zip ties that I salvage from work all day and just make a little chain link out of the zip ties, and link these two halves of this very rigid cardboard. And it's, it's this dude, Chad from double fist of dragon punch. Um, he's basically a, a failed pro surfer that decided his second best interest was martial arts. But of course he couldn't just pick a martial arts. He had to make his own martial arts. So dragon foot is the style of martial arts. See and, double uh, fisted <laughs> dragon punch sounds, uh, double fisted dragon punch is his like podcast name or I don't know what it is yet, but it sounds I mean, fucking I mean, hilarious. I mean, bad dragon's going <laughs> to sue you for that one. Who? Oh, so I think bad, bad dragon. dragon? Yeah, who's Bad Dragon? Oh God, they're a they're a they're a dildo company. Is there a double fisted dragon? No, oh, it's just a joke about fisting and dragons. Yeah, did they call it double fisting dragons? <laughs> no, it's just <laughs> never mind. <laughs> no, so that's, that's that's the irony, I guess. The humor that I find in that is that this guy's so oblivious; he's just a douchebag that he's trying to make his own martial art, and he's just very dumb about it. Doesn't know what he's doing, but <laughs> so uh, yeah, double fist and dragon punch to him sounds very cool, but it's very perverted and obscure to everybody else. Oh, um, on the. Uh... The end note of this. Do you want to do the ego strokes? Ego strokes. I tried to do that earlier. Um, yeah, we could do. Oh, oh, yeah, I, I just I kept interrupting more. you. No, I, uh, no, you didn't. I love I the sound totally of my own so... voice. <laughs> you didn't interrupt me. I, I think I said it, and I might have distracted myself, to be honest with you. But once I edit, I'll know who the real dick is in the end. But <laughs> it'll be me. All right, what are we, uh, ego strokes? Yeah. Um, sorry, I don't know why I'm so congested tonight. Yeah, pitting against one. Yeah, I got some typos in there. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know. Uh, See, it's hard you, to. Sir. It is. It, it's hard to uh, go over that part where it's like, does it feel like everybody's? each other up right now no i know i know and that, no. that was a very rough draft kind of outline I, sorry i like no I, I like a lot of comedians and i like i liked the workshops when i was there uh hey, the, the fuck? I, I don't want to get into it that's all right i i don't even know if i saw you at a workshop per se i feel like i saw you at the kava bars anyway whatever so anyway, you like um, workshops per se, even though. You but uh, the uh, like Seamus is really good. He's really helpful. He's uh, his yeah, comedy is very awesome. good. I don't know. It's good. It's good. It's uh, he has a lot of highbrow and a lot of lowbrow humor. Um, right, more, right. Uh, I feel like he's just playing around with what hits, just like yeah, you and I. just fucking yeah. figure out figure out what hits. I like Keep um. Going. Oh God! See, I'm gonna sound like a dick now. I think Andy, long curly hair. Perez, yeah, yeah. I fucking think he's hilarious. Yeah, he his his humor is very like expressive and artsy, in that from someone that you would feel like would have like a theater degree, right? And but you expect some more dry kind of like numerical humor. But you it's get good. what you get what you said, but you're expecting what I said, if that makes sense. <laughs> it um I like his bit 
where he's talking about the ink blots and he's like uh there's not a there's not a you know a through line to the story all i see are my parents yelling and alcoholism <laughs> or something like that nice i don't know if like, i've heard that one if, no, I, was a, if I did a really good one but i like i, I like the local scene the comedians I'm, yes um, dude that's what, gonna, that's what we're doing here man i just want to I want to have you back. I want to have the next comic on. I want to just keep fucking putting something out there. Do you know who you're just bringing on next? What the fucking Aiden Martin's next? But ooh, I'll watch yeah. that. Hell yeah, dude. So yeah, that's what we're doing here, and I just hope, I hope it can boost us all up. And another thing, I actually wanted to say tonight on this podcast is I don't know how <laughs> how much uh, levity I can put behind this comment, but oh uh, yeah. Like I, I, if any of this stuff ever makes any money, if I can monetize any of this stuff, I would obviously kick you guys royalties or whatever per episode. So like, if you, you know, I don't know if it makes money somehow, I'll figure it out. And since I got you guys recorded on this channel, I would somehow I'm not kick, kick your royalties in a way. You know what I mean? I'm not I don't even know if that's that. a thing for podcasts, but it's just. Uh. You know, just I don't know. I want to do something for fucking local charities or whatever. Really, like, I want to be able to just implement it right off the start. It doesn't matter what I make because I wouldn't have made anything to begin with if I didn't do this. It's like just fucking put portions of it to local comics, put portions of it to local charity, put portions of it to your bank account, Craig, because you got to live. You know, that I, kind of stuff. I, I thought you were going to talk about uh, also how like Ollie's the situation there. Yeah, local stuff. So local charities, yeah. like any they, kind of um, local. They're, I don't know what's happening there. I didn't realize well, he's, it was trying to close and stuff. Well, yeah, and he's gonna um, he's trying to find someone that will. And how? His... I didn't even understand the fucking how thing. In the eh, sorry, he yeah. wasn't understanding how uh, he's gonna what. He's he's trying to sell the business. Uh, okay. Hopefully, instead of just liquidating it, so hopefully it can be sold to someone who has the same sort of vision as Sean. You know, local music, sure. but. You know, hopefully, someone that has like an actual liquor license, so they can bring more money into there than just a beer and wine license could. But um, it's a special place, and I'll be. I mean, I. Fuck yeah, dude! It's special to I'll, me you now, for sure. Yeah. I mean, I won't. <laughs> I never knew about it. I'll, I'll, I'll miss it. I'll miss it either way, because at the time that it's slated to close, I'm moving to Boston. I've had enough of Florida. It's not. That's another safe. question I had for you. You you had mentioned in one of the text groups that you were going to move on, or you were thinking about switching states. Yeah, Boston, huh? Yeah, Boston. Where'd you Where'd you Where were you born? Florida. Had you ever lived in Boston? No. Whoa. What do you like about Boston? Like the comedy scene? I've heard there's a decent comedy scene up there. Well, I'll, I'll definitely look into the comedy scene up there. But what I like about it is that my partner has an English master's degree and he can use it more up there than he can in Florida with Florida okay. banning all the books and not really uh, valuing that kind of shit. Is. Um, But, you know, also it's just Florida's not really safe for queer people right now. Yeah, I feel you, man. That sucks. But... Uh, I mean, I have uh, you know, good career moves in Boston for electrician work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you what are you apprentice? Are you a journeyman? What I'm gonna be you? doing a, a apprentice work up there. Okay. Uh, you know, making my it's way. It's only up from here, though. License. You're like, yeah, you're only like 21, maybe. What are you? How old? Are I'm you? 25. Oh, <laughs> sorry, dude. Uh, uh, but yeah, no, it is. Too. It is. It is only up from here. I'm not. I mean, there are definitely gonna be you know people straight out of high school that are there, but. I also have, you know, like eight months already or so of uh, nice. electrician work under nice, me. So. Nice, okay. Hell yeah. Yeah, I think I get accepted. My dad did that for a while. Uh, he might even still be electrician. I, uh, I like it. It was a skill uh, I always wanted to learn more of. I just never did. Did a little bit of HVAC. Did a little bit of pool HVAC's work. good. As far as labor intensive stuff, but and now today assembling stuff. Yeah, as long as you're not working on fucking roof. Yeah, I had a buddy. Uh, He's... Not in Florida. Ugh. No, that's that's crazy. God, uh, bless the to do that. Oh yeah, yeah. No, not not for uh, Jesus. Not work for my non melanated ass. I would fucking yeah, die yeah, in that yeah. sun. Yeah, where does that come from? Is that Irish? Is it uh, Swedish? What, what, what were your roots at? Uh, Do you know, yeah, uh, Polish, Irish, German, Austrian, 
French. I, I'm just white. I'm a lot of different flavors of white. Every bit of white um, you could possibly imagine. But yeah, no, the sun doesn't like me. Right. I've never seen snow though, so Boston's gonna suck. Yeah, I was kind of worried about you uh, in that regard. I was like, were you born there, or have you ever been somewhere with snow? <laughs> mm -mm. No, <laughs> not at all. A whole new world. That's gonna be a whole new world. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step up. I'm gonna step outside. Uh, take one crisp, crisp, cold breath in and die. Uh, you might like it though. Who knows? Or mm -hmm. whatever. It might take a break in period. Um, I don't think I ever finished my point on the ego strokes thing. I feel, yeah, I just feel like, uh, I don't know why I sent this. I should have edited this out, but I feel like I'm a force to be reckoned with. And I feel like um, those kind of forces can recognize other forces. I feel like you're a force to be reckoned with. So like wherever you go, whatever you do, like just stay true to you and it'll fucking come together and culminate. Like there's no. I feel no like, real worries if you don't get inside your own head too much or whatever. It's like it's not even getting inside your own head too much. It's like getting inside a compartment or a push, a partition of your own head. Don't get in there. Like you just gotta fucking <laughs> just know that you're doing what you need to do. And I don't know. I think you're fucking hilarious. And just I keep like working I'm at whatever you're doing to make that fucking funny. Make it more. Make but keep keep going. Just keep doing that. Making shit funny. I feel like a lot of my humor will. Be more appreciated in 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 Boston, um, you know, younger or like you know, city area, more, sure, yeah. more queer. Who, who than, fucking knows? I have no Southwest idea what it's Florida. like up there, but yeah. If you got but, an inclination, um, fucking follow it. I've got no doubts. You know yeah, I mean? like just fucking. Do I it. Uh, and I, I definitely should come around more to the events. I um, I should do. Uh, you know, you, even just as an stuff. observer, because right. I'm only going to be think... here for two more months. So yeah, okay. Kids, 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 wait on kids. If you ever think about kids, just think about it a little longer. <laughs> I don't think that's necessarily an option <laughs> for me anymore. Nah, well, you gotta you can adopt and whatever else. And yeah, and all that shit, whatever. Fungus among us. We didn't get to that. I was thinking about talking about mushrooms, and I, 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 some, I don't know. I, I sometimes think we're, we're Wi-Fi. To the mycelium of mushrooms, or like Wi-Fi routers of fungus. What? I don't know how to say that. Yeah, I, I didn't get to work on any of this before I put it in the outline. If you think about neuro pathways, like oh, like how nerves neurons. look and how like mycelium looks. Yeah, is it okay. a bit similar? I mean, it. Yeah, what like the roots, nuts? the roots going and, down through. Yeah, 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 and and and. We have more uh, DNA, or we're, we're more similar genetically to fungus than we are plant. That makes sense because they're detrivores. They're not. They don't photosynthesize. They tend yeah, to eat right? dead matter. They breathe carbon, or they breathe oxygen, right? Whereas plants breathe carbon they? dioxide. Yeah, fungus supposedly takes oxygen rather than carbon dioxide like plants. So I just thought it was fucking weird and it had me thinking <laughs> uh, recently. Oh, wow. That's cool. I didn't know uh, that. Pretty weird, right? Yeah, that's neat. It trips me out. So it's like, what if it's just like walking like Wi-Fi routers <laughs> of <laughs> mycelium of the earth? You, you know, can, just, uh... trying to just spread this DNA across the galaxies because also, supposedly spores of fungus can survive in a vacuum of space. So like if a set of spores was on a meteor and it crashed into Earth, it could be a set of spores from another fucking planet crashing into Earth and then those spores grew here and who knows. Blah, blah, blah. I just, uh, there's lots of theories and fun things to think about. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I'm just thinking about like if you can uh kill like kill mushrooms just by like starving them of oxygen or like yeah, i have no idea i make them bigger by like giving them more oxygen <laughs> this is these are facts i've heard from podcasts so it's like you know i saw now now to be fair pod osmosis is how i've developed these thoughts joe rogan uh <laughs> is 
a big he's a fucking ape he's <laughs> but i i saw him talking about something in his field of expertise which is good cuz he largely talks out of his ass <laughs> but i saw him talking about fighting and it was really interesting yeah yeah cuz he knows a lot about that yeah, um, yeah. it's not just talking about space something mushrooms. That he doesn't know shit about <laughs> Uh, it's kind of it fun was... though. See, I'm playing with it right now. Yeah, no. It was... <laughs> I mean, it, it, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I think it's at that point where we're just sort of <laughs> grasping at straws. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, lots of fun. Um, yeah, I could grasp at more straws. I will let you go though, Griffin. I appreciate you. Um, I don't know if you feel like this is okay to call an episode. I feel like it went great. Yeah, uh, probably with some gonna, heavy editing. Yeah, I'm gonna edit some stuff in and out, and if if you want like a copy of whatever I think I'm gonna release before I release it, I can give that to you. Or if you want to take something out, just let me know. Yeah, I would actually you know appreciate I mean? that because uh... yeah, you just let me. There was something you said before, and I will find it. But I don't remember what it was now. Because yeah, <laughs> if I'm trying to get, you know, uh, okay, I will say just now because I'm, you know, looking for jobs and being accepted for stuff. So when people Google my name, There's now that. I could even leave your name out of the links. I could like, I would like that to it, you know, um, whatever. I don't have to put I, your Instagram links or nothing like that. I don't even think I did that for Seamus, but I yeah, did and, link. And, I linked and, his Instagram, I think. Yeah. And, and for the title, like if you're just linking like, uh, you know, Griffin and not having like my full name. Right. Right. Yeah, in the course. title or whatever. Just so it doesn't pop Perfect. up when you like. Right, 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 right. Perfect. Perfect. Because I'm trying to get a I, job. I, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> there was a. Oh, fuck. I don't know. I, I think I was playing around with something because you were so cool with the whole pronoun thing. And you were saying like, it doesn't matter how you address me. Like you could say this, that, that, and this. Mm-hmm. So I was trying to think of a witty title in that regard. Like. My bro, the man, the myth, the legend, a trans person, Griffin, or something along those. I don't know. That's that's fucking cheesy. Whatever. Um, I'll run it. I can run it by you before I ever. I, I think. Anything. Um, I, I I mean I think something that could just off the top of my head and uh anything and everything just for the title of the episode because. Hmm. I like that. Yeah. Anything and everything. Yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah. Anything and everything with Griffin, or I don't even have to put Griffin in there. Well, anything and everything with be. Griffin could be good. I like it. If you want to do that. Huh? All right. Right on, dude. Right and on. Right on. Thanks again. <laughs> I didn't think right. I thought we were gonna practice, but we went into it, so here we go. All right. And and here we go. And there we go. I'm so fucking tired. I woke up early. My eyes are so dry. All right. Have a a good night. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Griffin, everybody.